Yada yada yada. Hello, my fellow YouTubers. Today we're going to talk about some important stuff, which is called capacitors, capacitance, voltage. And right now we're pulling um, two lamps onto a solar panel, and I am pulling in about uh, 15.6 or 7 volts. Now, I have this little uh, DC motor, and if I hook this DC motor straight up to the solar panel, it will not run. So the way I have this set up right now for our conversation is that I have the solar panel coming into this capacitor, 6,000 microfarads, 50 uh, DC volts. Um, then it runs into this one, which is 6,000 microfarads and 50 uh, DC volts. And then it comes out of that and goes to my breadboard here. Now, um, a couple things I want to show you is I'm going to pull off these capacitors. And I assume that these guys are going to be somewhat charged. Or not charged. There you go. One in that one. How about this one. No. Okay, so this is the plan. 15 volts saved up. You know, uh, right now we're going to uh, run the motor off of these capacitors and let's see how long the motor runs. Okay, motor stop. So you can get the logist power drop down. And you get the logist of how long it takes to charge up the capacitor. You got those two plus that one there. And you can see right now we're at 12 volts and climbing. Now this meter over here is, is it's running into the meter, out the meter, to the, the motor. So right now I'll touch it again and you can see the amperage draw and you can also see the voltage drop. You ready? 15.8 volts. Voltage drop, amperage drop, motor's not running. The good thing about this is it took capacitors to store energy that's coming off of light bulbs. Okay? So phenomenal. If I had this thing outside running pure sun, um, I should be able to run this motor. But I haven't tried it, so I don't know. We haven't had really good sun to put on this solar panel in the last two and a half weeks, so it drove me inside. So here we're up to 15.7 volts. Let's do this. Let's grab a capacitor that's going to be... This one here is 1,000 microfarads, 50 volts. So when I... Go to put this capacitor in series here. You're going to see the volts drop because it's going to take voltage to charge the capacitor. So I got one leg hooked up and there you go. I just put the other capacitor in. Now it took that, didn't take long. And there's another thousand microfarads. And what I'll do is put that in there and you'll be able to see the voltage drop when I add it. And right now I am in. Damn. Sometimes doing things with one hand is not the easiest. And I just I just dead shorted out the circuit here. So I'll have to Put this guy back in. And we'll come over here. Keep dead short. So there we go. 14 volts, yada yada. One of these is a thousand. One of these are 2200. Which one is a thousand? I think the 2200 is the one that's there. Yeah, alright, so another thousand. So let's go ahead and stick another thousand in there. We are up to 
15 volts, I'm about ready to add in the capacitor. We drop down. Now it's gonna climb. So now it's charging all three, four of these capacitors. And we have those two, and everything's in series. So let's go ahead and uh, let the voltage charge up. And now we're going to touch the side here. And when I do, um, let's watch the amperage and the voltage. And then you can listen how long the meter or the, the motor is going to run. You ready? So you can see it ran longer. You can see I stopped it at a three and a half volts. And now it's building a charge. And the motor ran longer. Hmm. So, what does that make you say? Well, it makes you say that in order to get more working power, you need more capacitance. In order to get more capacitance, you need to charge it longer. So here we are at 15.67 volts. I'm climbing. I'm gonna go ahead and let's just watch the motor this time. You ready? You could tell that was a longer duration by adding more capacitance. Now, uh, I think what we need to do is keep stepping it up. So let's go ahead and you know, take off that last one. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over and we're going to just keep climbing. And this will be fun for you guys to see because we're going to go up in capacitance. And then I might even switch one over and we'll go up in voltage. And maybe I'll do it to this leg here. In fact, we'll take this one off. We'll see if it took anything. Yeah, a little something in there. So now I'm gonna switch the polarity to where one side is positive and one side's negative. And now we just ran that one in parallel and these are in series. So now we're only sitting at 5.7 and climbing. Hmm. That's not good. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's try this and we didn't get good there. Alright, so we're gonna let that climb. Now we'll go ahead and we'll just let it get up there. Instead of switching polarity, we'll just keep adding. Okay. Now we're up to 13 and change. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this guy to the circuit. And you'll see the voltage drop. Then we'll add this guy to the circuit. And we'll see that one make it drop and then we'll add this one to the circuit there's a lot of capacitance we're adding on another video I'll sit there and do the calculations of what we're doing but it's more now I want to show you guys technically on how you can gain working power by knowing a little bit more about what the capacitance does so that's two, four, six of these in series along with the two big boys. And now we're up to 15.7 in voltage, but we have a lot of capacitance. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and before I touch the thing, let's check amperage and voltage. Ready? There you go. That was good. So you can see the amperage pull as current, and then you can see the voltage drop. And now we'll do it again, and we'll look at the motor so you can see the duration. And now you can see it's taking a longer time for this bank to build. Let's go ahead and put another jumper off of this. There's the positive. We'll come over to here. 
Here's the negative. It's pretty cool, by the way, guys. It's really nice to learn about what the capacitance really does. Now we're up to 15 and change. Let's go ahead and touch this side and watch the motor. Look, look how long it'll last. So you can see that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some more capacitors. And as we do this, you can see that the volts are not climbing as fast as they were. So the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to use that transformer and we're going to step the voltage up. And I think with stepping the voltage up, what we'll learn is that we get to increase the time it takes to charge. And by doing that, we also will probably get more running time. So let's go with one more in here. You can see that's a lot of capacitors on here. Now we've knocked it down to 15 and change volts. Now I'm just going to say, here we go. You ready? Wow, you can hear that, that we got a lot more running time on that motor. And we also um, we increased the capacitance. Now, in, to start increasing the voltage, what we could do is start another breadboard. And uh, we'll go in parallel versus series and we'll increase the voltage versus uh, build up the capacitance. And I think that'll be a great video to do next. So here we are, we're up to 15 and change volts. You can see how long it takes now. This is all coming from ambient light, okay? From the solar panel, guys. So this is free energy, right? Well, no, I can't say it's free. I'm running those lights off a of regular power. I'm not running them off my solar, but I could. So it could be free, but right now I'm just being lazy bones. So let's go ahead. We're going to touch the other leg and we're going to watch the motor. And now you can listen and see how much more running time we got. Ready? Obviously we stretched out the time of uh, power we stretched out the capacitance the storage capability and uh, I think now it's time to move on to uh, higher voltage and that'll be the next video you can see it climbing back up let's do one more run because I want you guys to see the amperage how many how much amperage current to take to run this motor. You ready? 15.5 is good. Let's pull the amperage. 0 0.4 amps. And we drop the voltage right out. Alright guys, hope you appreciate the video. Um, this is good knowledge. Peace out. At least gallon.